Detroit has a lot of excess cash to spend this fiscal year. Today, Mayor Mike Duggan announcing his plan for what will be done with the extra money. In all, Detroit has an extra $156 million to spend. Duggan focusing chiefly on neighborhoods. $20 million will go toward replacing broken sidewalks. $18 million will go to removing blight. And another $16 million will go toward park renovations. But another almost $20 million will go towards transportation, including new cars for the Detroit People Mover. The move has some asking if it's worth it or necessary. I took a ride today to hear what Detroiters are saying. All right, it's about one o'clock. We're jumping on the People Mover just to get a sense of what it's like to ride on this and then see if anybody else is too. The People Mover views of Detroit are unmatched, but it can be a lonely experience. We rode the loop for around an hour or so to see how many people on this day were using it. This is the Greektown Broadway Grand Circus Car Michigan Avenue Station. We came across precious few riders during our trip, roughly a dozen or so in that hour time frame. But the regulars will tell you that's not always the case. Is it typically like this with what, three, three people, three riders aside from us? Um, on, a, on most days, if there's something going on in the city, you know, it gets busier, but um, it's usually not too packed. What's changed with the ridership? When Joe Lewis shut down, that really, I think, lost a lot of the revenue. Tony rides three to four times a week, going from his West Riverfront home out. Restaurants, the gym, entertainment. So he has a feel for the people mover system, a system that the city wants to upgrade. $19.9 million proposed in the city's surplus budget for transportation, some of that to cover the cost of purchasing replacement cars. The city's asking cash to be approved to replace these cars. Do you think it's necessary? If there was something physically wrong with the cars, then yes. But if it's just to replace them, to spend the money, um, I know there's definitely places it could be used, you know, better. Other riders like Pamela, visiting from out of state, believe it is a good use of cash. Why? Um, simply because, once again, it's a convenience for the workers down here. It's a convenience for people to come down here. Uh, outside of that, why wouldn't we want to invest in making them be as suitable as possible for a reasonable amount of money? And last year, between the end of May and December, the Detroit People Mover serviced more than 364,000 riders. 1.9 million in 2018, going to 1.6 in 2019 before the pandemic hit in 2020. And I also think it's important to note that these cars, mm -hmm. they're the same ones as when the People Mover started. That's yeah. back in 1987. And then also today, another, another note, you know, today is just a snapshot in time. Sure. Uh, so take it for what it is for the one hour that we were there. It might not be indicative of always on the people mover. Yeah, we need it to be a viable option again, people to turn to it again. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Right it looked like it. <laughs> it looked like it. All right, Brian, thanks. Yeah.